Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, Rapier Engine Overheat Workaround. I'm sure you guys know my mainsail, so uh, take a look at that if you don't know it, or the playlist is down below for all the tutorials. Anyway, so let's get to it. Let's crank up our rapiers, and uh, let's see what comes out of these. Of course, on the top part, the top three, I have the uh, not very effective ones, and the bottom ones, they should go around the overheat, of course, the bottom bottom, you do notice it is like the uh, mainsail workaround that I had before. So let's uh, crank up the power. Of course, the uh, one with the decoupler doesn't even work. It doesn't allow fuel to transfer, so that cuts off. Look at the overheating. It is going up now. So we should expect the, of course, explosion for the standard one directly attached to the orange tanks, followed by the quad. And uh, the bottom two are going to keep going. Now, as uh, let's... You see the, the bottom one is with the actual standard tank for the actual main sail. Now let's take a look at the other one. You noticed I did use the small little whatever grid connector thingies. You do, you do see that, which gives them a little bit of space and as well a good heat dissip dissipation. Now, of course, the heat is very, very high, very close to overheating, but not going to not gonna explode. Once you, of course, get into the atmosphere, it's going to go a little bit lower. So it will cool off as once you're in space, not in the atmosphere, it's a much cooler. So the temps will go down and you'll feel a little bit more safer. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, like it and take care. Happy gaming. Bye.